Welcome back everybody. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I picked up hunting this year and I've picked up a lot of my hunting gear from both Canadian Tire and the Dollar Store. Uh, and so I've been going over some of the gear that I got and how it's worked out this season. Uh, what I want to pick up, show you this time is this set of binoculars that I picked up at Canadian Tire. They were, I think, 55% off. They were just under $40 taxes in, uh, made by Outbound. They come in this, this um, nylon case with a strap. Uh, you'll notice that it doesn't always hang quite level. It tends to tilt a little bit, uh, but it's not a bad case. Velcro, soft on the inside. I do find that the Velcro catches on the inside fabric. Uh, it's not an expensive fabric, so it does tend to pull. You'll see there's a little pilling and stuff on here. But this is the binoculars here. Outbound branded, and they are a 9 to 27 by 50. So that's uh, magnification of 9 all the way up to 27 with a 50 millimeter objective lens. In the inside you also get the uh, cleaning cloth. Uh, there was a manual but that has uh, blown away and it also comes with these carry yeah, straps. Our strap back on. Hangs right in, in an appropriate place. It's just not bad. Alright, so it comes with these plastic caps. Uh, these like to get lost. So I always try to keep them in the vehicle. I tend to use these in my vehicle when I'm scouting out for things. On here you'll see that it has a diopter adjustment only on one eye. And on here you have your zoom. All the way up like this. You can see here it's on 9. And then as you turn it this way, all the way to 27. These are not fog proof. But they've been out in the rain, they've been rained on, I've had them out duck hunting, they do not have any water damage on the inside. So they seem to be holding out quite well to normal use uh, in a rainy environment. Um, focus on the top as normal, and you also have the flexibility here. You'll notice I'm missing a black plastic cover. Uh, I don't know where that went missing. Uh, it's cosmetic plastic. I'll have to probably 3D print something to put over there at some point. Uh, but I did notice that there is a threaded screw in the center that may be for a tripod mount, which might come in handy at some point. But uh, I've had these out um, duck hunting, uh, deer hunting, rabbit hunting, everything else. Um, I find them very good, especially at the 9X. I find as you go up to 27, um, this one here stays in focus for me. This one I find really hard to get focused. I don't know if the diopter is moving inside or it's just not uh, balanced properly, but they don't stand, tend to stay in focus for both eyes as I zoom in. Um, but for the price that I paid for them, they're clear, they're bright. The 50 millimeter objective makes it very good for seeing even in low light. I've had them out in the evening looking for deer uh, just after sunset, uh, and they tend to work very, very well for that. So you get a chance to pick those up, I would say, for the, for the quality. Uh, I don't see any spherical or chromatic aberration in the lenses. I'm not an, an optometrist. I am not an optician. I am not uh, even an astronomer who is used to looking for those kind of things. But for the uses that I put them through, they do not act like the cheaper uh, binoculars that I've had before. Um, but these are definitely um, worth picking up for all your uh, hunting needs. Uh, helps me to identify what ducks are, are sitting further out, whether or not uh, they're huntable or not. Uh, but if you had a chance, I would rate these like probably a 4 out of 5 um, for doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, it'd be great if they were fog proof, because I noticed if I leave them in the car overnight and then I'm out driving, I, I go to look at something, just the heat from my face and the moisture in my, from my face tends to fog up the lenses until they warm up. Um, so I try to take them in overnight. Um, but if you do have them in your vehicle overnight and you want to use them, I'd say just leave them up where your defroster is and let them warm up a little bit before you put them on your face. And uh, you should have no problem at all. So again, 4 out of 5 for the outbound 9 to 27 by 50 uh, binoculars. Check in with you next time.